Taking over the accounts payable function is a meaningful way to build your career. While the responsibility is sometimes given to someone who has been working in the accounts payable function, oftentimes it is given to someone from outside accounts payable, someone from elsewhere in the accounting department, or even someone from finance. Regardless of where the individual was employed before being handed responsibility for the accounts payable function, these savvy individuals often make some astonishing assumptions that lead to huge problems. Definitely not what anyone wants when starting a new position. We'll discuss the trickle-down effect, the silver bullet that isn't, the checks and balances issues, the time issue, and the complexity factor. Make sure you stick around until the end when we discuss the one mistake that has come back to haunt more than a few. We hope to help you make sure you don't make the same mistake. Accounts payable management mistake number one, the silver bullet. With all the hype and hoopla about automation, AI, RPA, AP automation, invoice automation, etc., some have gotten the impression that all you have to do is purchase one of these relatively inexpensive accounts payable automation solutions and all your problems will disappear. Thinking that technology and automation will solve all headaches and enable staff reductions is going to result in some big disappointment and a few little nightmares. Yes, technology will help. Yes, it does handle transactional work better than humans making fewer errors, but it is not the game changer some would like to think it is. There are still many transactions that require human intervention to either get the data entered correctly or to resolve discrepancies when the three-way match is done. Yes, the accuracy will improve with time, but it still has a long way to go. While some OCR accuracy rates are quite high, we still hear sporadic reports of accuracy as low as 50%. The online dispute resolution models only work if both parties participate and participate in a timely manner, and they still require human interaction. When you combine this with the fact that the workload in accounts payable is increasing thanks to new regulatory reporting requirements, new frauds requiring new fraud protections that need to be incorporated, and then the ongoing headache of duplicate copies of the same invoice, you quickly understand that it will be some time before a reduction in the accounts payable staff can be considered due to the savings rendered by automation. Basically, there is no silver bullet. Accounts payable management mistake number two, the trickle down impact. Unless you have worked in the nitty gritty of accounts payable, this issue is sometimes difficult to understand. Basically, the impact of small errors or what seems to be like a small mistake on the financial viability of the organization can be huge. When it comes to the accounts payable function, tiny details, no matter how insignificant they may seem, really do matter. This means you need to understand the full importance of rigid coding standards because one tiny coding error can lead to a duplicate vendor or a duplicate item slipping through. It means understanding that duplicate invoices take time to weed out and this is critically important because you could end up double paying. And no, most vendors do not automatically return duplicates. In fact, some won't even issue a credit. They just hope you won't notice. These duplicate payments increase expenses and reduce profits directly, dollar for dollar, the trickle-down effect of having weak practices in your accounts payable function. I could go on about this for a lot longer, but you get the idea. Since there's no separate line item on the income statement or balance sheet labeled something like losses due to weak accounts payable practices, you may never really calculate the true cost of these weak processes. They're integrated into everything else. The other way these weak practices hurt in a way that eventually trickles down to the financial statements is when a fraud occurs due to weakened controls. So annoying as it may seem, focus on those little details. It can mean a big difference. Accounts payable management mistake number three, the checks and balances issue. What, what we are about to discuss used to only be a small company issue. But with all the advances made in accounts payable, the greater use of technology, the move away from paper check, we have experienced in many, many organizations 
a shrinking of the size of your accounts payable staff. This makes the appropriate separation of duties, internal control, much more difficult to achieve. With all the different parts of the accounts payable process, it is hard with a smaller team to have no overlapping areas of responsibility. Thus, it becomes imperative at times to move certain tasks or develop compensating controls. Until you sit down and actually study all the different tasks required to actually create a purchase order, receive goods, receive and verify an invoice, and finally make the payment, it is easy to overlook the control problems that potentially could exist if permitted by ignoring appropriate separation of duties. By ignoring this issue, which many are tempted to do, you actually facilitate potential fraud. And don't forget, the people who know best where your internal control weaknesses are, are your own employees. With separation of duties violations, they are poised to take to a full advantage. Now, to be perfectly fair, very few will. The problem both new and older managers have is it is impossible to tell who will take advantage. And usually it is the person you are least likely to suspect, your long-term trusted employee. So no matter how difficult to achieve, appropriate separation of duties, even if you have to involve other departments, is critical. If you are not sure how this would work in your accounts payable function, check out our talk on separation of duties and accounts payable in our library. Accounts payable management mistake number four. The where did the day go issue. No one suspects. Not fully understanding how time can disappear in accounts payable has undermined the success of many new accounts payable managers. They come to work with what looks like a reasonable to-do list for the day, nothing outrageous, work that should be able to be completed in far less than eight hours. Then, when they sit down at their desks and start the day, phone starts ringing, their bosses and others periodically stick their heads in asking, can I pick your brain for a minute? Can you help me figure this out? It should only take a few minutes or something like that. Before they know it, it's the end of the day and only one item has been crossed off their seemingly realistic to-do list. To give you an idea of what goes on, we did a fictional talk on day in the life of accounts payable. There's a link to it in the description. It will give you a flavor of what it's like to manage the accounts payable function. Try and have realistic expectations as to what you will actually be able to accomplish in one day. Before I, we turn our attention to what I call the complexity issue, I'd like to request that if you're getting any value out of this, you hit the like or the thumbs up button to let both this channel and me know that the information may be shared with more people and I should make more like it. A big thank you from me to all of you who have done this. Accounts payable management mistake number five, the complexity issue. Until you've actually worked in accounts payable, many accounting and finance professionals think it's easy. It's not. In fact, one financial controller calls accounts payable the toughest accounting job. But don't take my word for it. You can check it out yourself. He's got a great YouTube channel called The Financial Controller. Underestimating the complexity of the accounts payable function is a common reaction from accounting and finance professionals who have never worked in it. Until you actually roll up your sleeves and get down into it, you don't realize that there are 30 different areas you need to understand if you are going to effectively and efficiently manage the accounts payable function for your organization. We did a talk spelling out exactly what those 30 different areas are. You can watch it right now using the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and is in the description. Good luck.